NASA scientists created history yesterday when they flew a small helicopter on Mars, an epic achievement over 170 million miles from Earth. For one of the lead NASA engineers in California, Loe Elbasuni, this incredible journey mirrored his own adventure after growing up in Gaza in the Middle East and moving to America as a 20-year-old to study. I was able to speak to him a few days ago as he and the team made their final preparations. Lawai Albasuni grew up in Gaza, close to the Israeli border, a place seething with tension, with poverty and at times with war. But at 20, Lawai won a scholarship that would translate him from here, via an American university, to this. And lift off. His key responsibility was for the helicopter aboard that has made such history on Mars. To me, as a kid, I was like almost dreaming to become like an in aerospace engineering, but I decided that it's not a, a thing for me because I figured like Palestine does not have a space program. So <laughs> it wasn't really an easy journey. I mean, you know, you know, to just be able to leave Gaza, you know, then to come to college and and after that to be actually be able to like help, you know, like be able to maintain paying my tuition and my finances through college. I mean, it was pretty rough times. But a journey from Gaza to the United States in and of itself is a very difficult thing to achieve. How, how did you make the transition? I mean, it's like, I like Mission Impossible, so. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be candid. I mean, you obviously have pretty amazing brains, and that got you really more than anything from Gaza to the United States and into the space program. Yes, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to sound arrogant, but... I mean, you know, I mean, you, you have to work hard. You have a planet which has the air density of 1% of Earth, and you think you can use something that depends on the air, the rotors, mm -hmm. all the rest of it, and you'll be able to keep it up and be able to control it. I don't know how you've done it. How have you done it? So, I mean, it was, it's a team effort. I mean, the idea, of the, I mean, originally we had a very low weight estimate, so we, and then, the, you know, the, based on the development, like, you know, different part of the team developed like the props you know i mean they had to be much larger than the, than the size of the aircraft you know and then from that we you know we came up to calculate that oh, the problem to spin so much faster you know the weight of the aircraft need to be so low to be able to create lift i mean do you go to gaza now will you you have said that it's harder to go to gaza than to go to mars will you go back the last time i've been there it's been uh, year 2000 and that was before you know, the second intifada. And I mean, it's, it's really hard to get into Gaza. I mean, with, I mean, without putting my career at risk, I mean, if I go in there, you know, I might get stuck. The difference between the Gaza experience and the Mars experience is so stark. With the Mars situation, it's science that determines things, you know, so, and you know, with science, we can calculate everything and we can predict everything as much as we can. And, and we just like stick to our hope and beliefs and my, our mathematical proof. But when it comes to situations involve politics, it depends on people's opinion, and that's unpredictable. 